Welcome to the Central Arizona Project Virtual Museum. Today we'll be exploring a unique exhibit. It combines elements of history, geography, engineering, hydrology, and much more. You'll not only see the vast scope of Central Arizona Project, but also the myriad of components that make up the system. It's an interesting story and a fascinating journey. So let's get started. Our tour begins here at Station 1, CAP History. Arizona's early business and government leaders dreamt of creating desert oases that would attract both people and prosperity to the state. In order to accomplish their ambitious goals, they understood that abundant and reliable supplies of fresh water would be needed. They set to work developing a plan to build an impressive aqueduct that would stretch some 336 miles, delivering Colorado River water to industry, agriculture, and the residents of the most populous central and southern parts of Arizona. Though it required half a century, intense legal wrangling, and nearly $4 billion in construction costs, our forefathers' vision has become reality and continues to benefit millions of Arizonans every day. Today, Central Arizona Project delivers more than one and a half million acre-feet of Colorado River water to 57 large wholesale water providers. An acre-foot of water equals about 326,000 gallons, roughly enough water to serve a family of five for one year. About 35% of deliveries are to municipal and industrial users. 25% of the water goes to agriculture. 10% to Indian communities, and 30% is banked underground for the future. At any given moment, nearly 8 billion gallons of water are managed by CAP. Even though Arizona has been experiencing an extended drought, its residents haven't really noticed or felt the effects of the water shortage. This is because Central Arizona Project and its water partners are keeping the state supplied with water while storing excess water for future use. They understand their role as manager and protector of this precious resource and are dedicated to continuing this effort to secure Arizona's water supplies. We begin our water journey here at Station 3. The Mark Wilmer pumping plant sits on the Bill Williams River, just upstream of its confluence with the Colorado River, near the Arizona-California border. On holiday weekends, people swarm to this little town to relax on the banks of the Colorado and play in the shadow of the London Bridge. But long after the parties are over, Mark Wilmer Pumping Plant labors on, lifting water 824 feet up from the lake to the top of Buckskin Mountain. In one year, the six 60,000 horsepower pumps at Mark Wilmer use almost 1,500 gigawatt hours of energy or more than half of the energy it takes to operate the entire CAP system. That's enough power to supply 107,000 homes with electricity. Importantly, the system can be operated during off-peak periods, when electrical demands and rates are lowest. For CAP and Arizona, Mark Wilmer Pumping Plant near Lake Havasu is not only the beginning of our water delivery system, it's the source of life for millions of desert dwellers across Arizona. During the course of its journey, the water is lifted about 3,000 feet as it travels east across the state and then south to the Tohono O'odham Nation, south of Tucson. Along CAP's aqueduct system, there are 14 pumping plants, one pump generating plant, 39 radial gate structures to control the flow of water, and more than 50 turnouts to divert water from the canal into distribution systems for water providers, users, and the Lake Pleasant Storage Reservoir. To move this heavy volume of water through the desert, CAP requires more than 2 billion kilowatt hours of energy every year. Here at Station 5, we focus on one of the primary features of CAP's distribution system. New Adel Dam and the Lake Pleasant Storage Reservoir. The dam was built in 1992 to store Colorado River water and runoff from the Agua Fria River. Other benefits derived from the dam and lake include hydroelectric generation, flood protection, as well as a variety of recreational and outdoor activities. These include a visitor center, boating and camping facilities, RV hookups, and the Desert Outdoor Center to educate students and adult visitors about the value of Arizona's natural resources in an arid climate. 
Lake Pleasant, at 15 and a half square miles, provides the necessary storage to allow flexible operations based on customer demand. Depending on orders for water, the lake level can fluctuate up to 75 feet. In the summer, as water demands increase, water is released from the dam, which also generates hydroelectric power. These releases result in a reduced need for pumping from the Colorado River during the summer months when electrical demands and rates are high. Without New Adel Dam and Lake Pleasant, CAP would be limited to bringing Colorado River water into the state only when there was an immediate need. CAP's three-county service area includes roughly five million people, about 80% of the state's population, encompassing 24,000 square miles of land. Arizona's largest cities are located in CAP's service area, including Phoenix, Tucson, Mesa, Glendale, and Scottsdale. CAP's headquarters is located along the aqueduct in Phoenix. More than 450 employees support its operations, both at the headquarters and at several field sites, including Lake Havasu, East Mesa, and Northwest Tucson. A 15-member board of directors elected at large from Maricopa, Pima, and Pinal counties governs the Central Arizona Project. CAP is a maintenance-intensive organization focused on running the system reliably and cost-effectively. In recent years, technology has also become a driver of the business. The entire aqueduct system is remotely monitored and controlled from the highly sophisticated state-of-the-art control center. The control center performs the organization's most critical function, regulating the delivery of Colorado River water. The center is staffed by at least two operators, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The operators use a Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, or SCADA, computer system to meet Arizona's specific needs. It provides operators with more than 1,000 real-time control displays of system features and scans the entire length of the aqueduct every two seconds, relaying the information back to the control center where it is processed and stored. Our next stop, Station 8, provides some fascinating information on CAP's recharge program. In 1996, Central Arizona Project began recharging water in an effort to increase the reliability of long-term water supplies. The recharging process involves systematically flooding a site and allowing water to percolate down through the soil, replenishing underground aquifers. This recharged water may then be pumped out and used at a later date. There are a number of issues involved in identifying an appropriate underground storage site, and CAP evaluates each site thoroughly before making a selection. CAP tests and confirms that the soil is not contaminated and that it has adequate permeability. In addition, the site's proximity to the canal and the storage capacity of the local aquifer are also considered. CAP operates more than half a dozen underground storage projects, which can store more than 300,000 acre-feet of surplus water per year. These sites are an important component of operations and will provide Arizonans with a water supply they can rely on for years to come. Central Arizona Project, which has been described as an engineering marvel, has three major sources of funding included are water delivery charges, power revenues, and a property tax in Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima counties. As an ongoing drought affects water supplies in the western United States, CAP leadership is focusing on initiating proactive water policies, as well as closely managing expenses. These steps are necessary in order to support an aging infrastructure, repay construction costs, and meet the ever-increasing water demands of Arizona's growing populations. Over the past several decades, the people of Central Arizona Project have worked diligently to earn the trust and respect of their fellow Arizonans. CAP takes its job as manager and protector of Arizona's largest source of renewable water supplies very seriously. They look towards the future with great pride, knowing that they are providing current and future generations with the water our forefathers had originally envisioned. Thank you for joining us today for the CAP Tour. 
and we look forward to seeing you again sometime soon.